Meeting Places is a collaborative exhibition presented by the Bag Factory and Guns and Rain Bag, which is currently on at the New Oxford Parks Precinct in Dunkeld. It's their first collaborative exhibition with works by Bev Butko, Candice Kramer, Demagazzo Matopa, Hemali Kosal, Henrietta Scholes, just to mention a few. For more on, the ex on this exhibition, we're joined by the director at the Bag Factory, Candice Allison. Candice, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning and thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Good to have you on the show this morning, Candice. Talk to us about uh, Meeting Places and the collaboration you have with Guns and uh, Rain Bag. Yeah, it's Guns and Rain Gallery. Um, and it's a pop-up space that um, the developers of Oxford Parks, they're called Interprop. So they've given us space to activate and to bring some art into the new development that they have created in Dunkeld. Um, and the collaboration came about because this year is the Bag Factory's 30th anniversary year. Um, we've managed to get this far with very open art industry partners willing to collaborate with us. And we wanted to reflect that this year by reaching out to different um, partners for this particular pop-up space. Okay. So the first one is with Guns and Rain Gallery, and it was a very neat collaboration because some of their artists that they represent also have studio space with us at the bag factory. Okay, so is there any specific theme or subject that is carried in this exhibition? No, it was an open um, brief to the artists and the, the theme itself, Meeting Places, is speaking about um, meeting with partners, meeting of minds, meeting in physical spaces again after a long COVID um, lockdown and people social distancing. It's been one year exactly since I was on Morning Live talking about our virtual open studios yeah. last year because we had to cancel the physical mm, event. Mm. So it's been opening up um, a safe space, a safe environment where people can come together and meet again. Now, when one walks into meeting places, what kind of mood and understanding of the artwork can be expected? Well, the space itself is amazing um, for showing art. It's a little bit unique, a bit different. It's a huge, huge retail space. Mm -hmm. It hasn't had any work done yet, so the brick is still exposed. Um, the piping in the ceiling is still exposed, so mm. it's tall ceilings. Mm. It's a huge space. And we've managed to bring in some works to really fill that space, okay. colorful works. We have a five-meter um, by five meter, uh, what do you call this, tapestry work uh -huh. um, to greet you at the entrance. There's sculptures. And then we have a very special artist. We're running a little pop-up residency as well in the space. So one of Guns and Rain artists has traveled from Zimbabwe to Wanda Takura, and he's working in the space. So you okay. can see him making his sculptures um, if you come there during our opening times. And Kenneth, you've included quite a number of artists. Talk to us uh, about these artists and uh, why the inclusion of them. Yeah, so four of the artists are from Guns and Rain. Um, and then 11 of the artists are currently have studio space at the Bag Factory. So they work um, nine to five at the Bag Factory. That's their professional working environment. And the artists are, you know, there's a funny... Um, we talk about artists as either emerging or established, and these artists fit somewhere in between that space. So they're working professionally as artists. Um, they're producing very unique and different works. Some of them produce prints. Some are producing paintings. Um, Bev, for example, works with uh, woven textiles. So it's 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 really a wide uh, uh, array of art that you'll find. And when people review this artwork, what do you want them to experience or think about? Yeah, so we want um, our audience to connect with the artworks. Okay. And some of the artworks speak about identity. Some of them are purely exploring aesthetics. So beautiful work for the sake of being beautiful that you'd love to hang on your home and mm. and gaze at you know instead of staring at netflix all the time um <laughs> we want <laughs> we want our audiences to to really connect with the work and to feel engaged and 
the the price point of the work speaks to that. It's affordable work, so um, anyone could really be able to maybe maybe pay it off in two installments. But sure. yeah, you could afford to have the work in your home. It's not beyond the average person's reach. Yeah, sure. And uh, what kind of conversations are you expecting uh, that people will start after viewing this work? Well, I mean, with Tawanda there especially, he works with um, so he works with reclaimed items, uh, in particular old shoes, and he pulls the shoes apart and then he creates these new sculptures with the shoes. Mm -hmm. So there's been some really interesting conversations already around his work, people being able to see the process of, of watching him make new sculptures. Um, and he's referencing various things that he experiences in his daily life in Zimbabwe. Um, so religion, uh, woman. Um, yeah, it's it's really, you have to see it to, to appreciate it, I guess. Sure. And how long will the exhibition be up for, Candice? It will be up until the 10th of May. Mm-hmm. Um, so still a couple of weeks and then we're open from Tuesdays to Saturdays and it's 11 a.m. till 2 p.m. But we're more than happy to make appointments outside of these hours. You just need to contact us. All the details are on our website. OK, and uh, w please do share the location of the bag factory. Well, the bag factory is in Fordsburg, Newtown, but um, the Oxford Parks pop-up is in Dunkeld. Okay. And you can find it, It's you can put in the address 199 Oxford Street. Um, and then if you're a pedestrian and you're walking into the space, the Radisson Red Hotel is on the corner. And we were involved in a very exciting commission to, um, we commissioned with the Radisson Red and Interprop, uh, one of our previous artists, Usha Sidorim, mm. to create a three meter high sculpture of angels' wings. So that is the the point at which you will enter Oxford Parks. You can't miss it. Okay, Candice, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. All right, we just spoke to Candice Allison, the director at the Bag Factory. Now. Meeting Places uh, is a collaborative exhibition presented by the Bag Factory and uh, Guns and Rain.